Now you two family, meet the men, the suspects who are involved and tied into the killing of the famous rapper legendary man that he is, Young Dolph. Now you got Cornelius Smith, you got Shondell Barnett, and you got Johnson, Mr. Johnson, what they call him, AKA Straight Drop. We're gonna introduce you to all three men and break them down thoroughly so y'all can have a, a understanding of who these gentlemen are, who they affiliated with, what they got going on, you know what I mean? Everything that's out and about. Now the first suspect on deck is Cornelius Smith. Now Cornelius Smith is one of the most famous players in this and we're gonna break it down, but let's start the show the right way. Let's go. Now Cornelius Smith, he got his name in a whole lot of honcho things going on in this situation. Cornelius Smith was convicted in 2011 of attempted aggravated robbery. I mean, he was really out here getting it. According to some of the OGs in Memphis, they done told me this man got a name for being a marquee player, allegedly, all oh, this is allegedly. He really would stain you after the clubs. You know, after the club, it's 3 a.m., 4 a.m., you at Denny's, you eating with homegirl in them. Well, he's that nigga, that wolf that's lurking, allegedly, to take and tax you out. Well, for this case, we do know he was sentenced to three years in prison, that is. You know what I mean? And them three years did not slow down Cornelius Smith at all. Cornelius been running rampant out here in these Memphis streets. Cornelius got in a heated situation with a, another street nigga that's a well-known dude, and he got charged with aggravating kidnapping charges in 2018. And going through that, you would think Cornelius would be done, finito, be out the way for good. Man, them folks wasn't playing with them. Them folks said, Cornelius, hey, go home, boy. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. A special grand jury in his situation, they decided and declined to indict him. Now, I don't know if it's a special case of the voodoo magic, voodoo mix, whatever you want to call it, but this gentleman, Cornelius Smith, has been getting lucky after lucky until he met his and he got entrailed in a situation with, you know, straight drop. We all know that one. He got in the famous one of being caught up. They said he had the the uh, the Bass Pro hat. It was him, and, and that's the one that went wild. But we got to talk about the other one, Mr. Shondell Barrett. He's the other dude that's now in charge and, and and getting blamed for a whole lot of whole lot of. I'm about to read what they saying about him over here. They're saying Shondell Barnett, 27 years old, has been charged with being an after the fact accessory, the first degree murder. U.S. Marshal said Wednesday, which was Nancy Dillon, that you know, this guy over here, he was caught helping straight drop escape his situation. He was seen with an extra vehicle, you know, giving the alley-oop the straight drop. Uh, during the situation that helped him fled to Indiana. This guy, Shondell Bar Barrett, let me read his last name the right way. His last name is Shondell Barnett. They say he lived in Indiana. He was in a situation and things got kind of crazy, but they say he's not being connected with the slaying of Young Dolph at McAdee's homemade butter cookies in Memphis that was happening eight weeks ago. Nah, they just attributed him to things of being accessory after the fact of murder. And we know that carry a whole lot. They saying this dude over here, he had alleged connections with rappers in the industry and the Indiana ties was what Straight Drop been going to. This guy over here is one of the dudes you call up you feel me, to wishy-washy situations, help dudes, or, or, or the, the, you know, big bro to little bro situation. He's the one who they saying it might stay solid, but I don't know too much about him except what OGs are telling me. They seen him before, hung around him before, and now with him being tied to this, they're going to make this thing bigger than life. Y'all already know for sure. It, it, it ain't even if, it's what's going to happen. 
Now, we do know the third Spregula that we about to call up. Let's bring that boy over here. That's the famous third suspect. That straight drop himself. Now, what people who haven't been following this case don't know is straight drop is not a new suspect to us at all. The internet done tied this boy named the Young Dolph less than 40 hours after Young Dolph, you feel me, was dead. They done put JoJo Splat, CEO Bobby. We still don't know who else is allegedly involved. People do know they are charging folks in them for accessory and everything. Now, let's get on with the show. Now, they saying straight drop, the one who keep getting released and released, he got the most. A bit longer. Take a look. The district attorney's office tells us he was placed on the violent juvenile sex offender registry 2000 violence case, but a grand jury did not indict him. Justin Johnson's rap sheet is a bit longer. Take a look. The district attorney's office tells us he was placed on the violent juvenile sex offender registry 2015 at age 17. In 2017, he shot into an East Bend. So them folks is saying straight drop and I just did a video talking about his connections and ties with Memphis Police Gangster Department because you know Memphis MPD is the biggest gang in Memphis. Now this dude had all these type of charges on him straight drop and he keep getting out of them from the, the juvenile charge offender at 17 all the way to shooting into a group of people at a bowling alley. This man done seen everything and been through everything and he got out of that one too. He was held on a $250,000 bond they, that man pled guilty to three counts of aggravated assault, sentenced to five years. But then all of a sudden, he only had to do nine months and he was granted probation by a judge. Then he got in another situation and only had to, with, with marijuana and gun charges, and only had to pay a $7,500 bond again by a judge. This man is the spooky man. We want to know who he connected to because the whole streets is saying his connections go 38 deep, bro. It goes so deep, people want to know what the situation is with this man. The the entrails of being connected to everybody in Memphis can either be a good thing or a bad thing. It's been a good thing for Straight Drop during all this time, just to let y'all know. He just been out and about living his best life, ain't concerned and too worried about nothing. For a good minute, he was just out here doing as well as he pleased, been being known as an alleged suspect. You feel me? Even in the courthouse, the, the shenanigans that was being done in there, you can get a, a drift of what it's like. Let me let me go to the courthouse and show y'all. When he came through in there, you can see he's gonna start brushing the hair, the scratching, like, I don't got time for none of this. To even when he posted that he's gonna come home soon and this ain't nothing. Y'all remember that? Let me, let me go to the post for y'all. When he had this famous post about turning myself in Monday, I'm innocent. I'll be back sooner than you can blink. That's what he said to the world we do know of. Now, going to him and his court situation, he is not looking lost, in my opinion. He's looking like a man that got a well thought out plan, a man that got a situation that's called connection. Remember, it's not what you know in life. It's always, ladies and gentlemen, gonna be who you know. It's not what you know, it's who you know. And this man knew the people in both sides of the field. No folks in the streets, no people in the legal justice department. So straight drop been able to maneuver himself out of a lot of situations. You dig what I'm saying? That man just been untouchable to that point. Now we're waiting to see because we know the bond just got you know, um, no bond, they, they just said it again. They got no bond, let's read the rest. Then released on a $7,500 bond. Good behavior by the Federal Bureau of Prison. Curious about these are what these laws mean in the state of Tennessee. And if you break this law, here's what it means in terms of accountability and what sentence you're going to do. The offenders deserve that clarity. The victims of crime deserve that clarity. Again, Stephanie Gregg, those two men here in jail tonight. No bond has been set. We're live downtown tonight, Shay Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3. As you can see, no bond was set for them. So the situation, you know, still got deeper. 
They had a press conference for these dudes, and this press conference went kind of crazy. Brazil, Indiana, Tuesday, outside of Terre Haute, after receiving a tip of where he was, but not before searching for him in Atlanta, Houston, Dallas, and then those tips and reaching out to our partners uh, across the southeast to help us. U.S. Marshals are. Now the U.S. Marshals released more than just that. It was a day of reckoning that they claimed for the folks involved. We need something for General Wyrick. She's, she's always there, just a phone call away. And uh, I just appreciate her. Um, also want to thank, as I said before, there's some, there's some uh, guys on our task force that- Man, it do be a lot of clout chasing from these Public officials, I ain't gonna cap, man. Cornelius Smith, we seen him in court over here, and he didn't look too thrilled to be in that hole too, let's just be honest. And nobody is, let's just say that part out the way. Now what we worried is who is gonna tell. Now they already had Cornelius Smith locked up. They just tied everything to him after the fact as well. So that's why people wanted to know, was he the one who told on straight drop? Even though the, I feel like all these dudes tell on themselves. Look, man, ladies and gentlemen, this is your guy, DJ Bless One. Thanks for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Man, love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed, man. Get out the way, ladies and gentlemen, as much as possible. Stay out the way. Get out the way. You know what it is, man.